Well, with emergency winter shelters wrapping up operations as we head into spring, plans are underway in Jamestown, New York, to continue support for those still living on the street. After Code Blue funding runs out in two months, Jamestown's emergency homeless shelters will close. However, those on the front lines of the city's response say this is not the end of the road. Justin Gould with our news partner, WNY News Now, has the story tonight. A forum took place Wednesday to discuss needs of the homeless community. Housing was an obvious solution. One proposed idea would work with private landlords. In addition, plans to remodel parts of the Gateway Center into affordable apartments is also in the works. At the MHA, we um, have begun to explore what it would be like for us to continue with a, a space for folks who are experiencing homelessness. Um, but for us to go forward with that, that would require, honest, quite honestly, I think a substantial capital investment. While the project is good news for the Mental Health Association, which operates the Gateway Center's emergency shelter, it would mean the facility will need to find a new home. Across town, the Lovejoy Free Methodist Church also opened their doors to those in need. To hear their story and uh, recognize how trapped they feel. So whether it is um, emotional distress that they are unable to modulate or practical situations like can't get a driver's license because they don't have an address. Discussing what barriers someone faces can help expose gaps in the system that keeps people trapped in homelessness. The problem is that we are trying to apply a prescription that is one size fits all and it doesn't fit all. This winter shelter provided more than just a warm place to sleep, but also a path forward. So we identify what those goals are, our coaches. We break them down into small steps, achievable steps, and are with our participants out in the community, um, actually out with them, uh, helping them to achieve those goals. Justin Gould, WNY News Now. And after the shelters opened this winter, the Mental Health Association in Jamestown noted a 50% increase in demand for their mental health counseling services as well.